Omnibus presents a television version of a new American musical drama which opened in Central City, Colorado last July and which will come to Broadway in the fall. It is The Ballad of Baby Doe by Douglas Moore and John Latouche. Now I want to tell you a story. Twenty-three years ago, I was driving through the Colorado Rockies. By the way, this is not the beginning of a narration. This is something that happened to me. And I stopped for the night in a town whose climate is described as ten months of winter and two months mighty late in the fall. And no wonder. It's Leadville, 10,000 feet up, and always under a cloud. And the next morning, I ran into a ragged, forlorn little lady sitting in a foul shack at the top of a mine shaft. She was Elizabeth's baby Doe, and she is the heroine of the music drama you're going to hear tonight. This is an actual picture of her, photograph. Now, Elizabeth McCourt Doe is the second wife of Horace Tabor, a stonecutter from Vermont who went to Colorado for the gold rush in 1859 and for 20 years had no luck and no money. His wife, Augusta, ran a boarding house to keep them alive. Then he grub-staked two Germans to $17 and a couple of spades, and they went off, and that afternoon they hit silver. And that put $1 million in the pocket of Mr. Tabor. With his second mine, which was sold to him as a useless mine, he made $9 million in the first year. So he divorced Augusta, his wife, and married a beautiful divorcee, Baby Doe. They were married in the Willard Hotel in Washington with the President of the United States in attendance. And I guess that was their finest hour, because then came the year 1893. The price of silver collapsed, Tabor lost everything, and he died penniless, begging Baby Doe to hold on to the matchless. That was the last mine that he had title to. He thought it would come back. Of course, it wouldn't come back. It never, never could come back, and it didn't. But for 35 years, she sat up there outside that tiny shack, which grew more squalid with every year. When I was there, I remember that she had no uh, windows, no glass in the window frames. They were stuffed with torn newspapers. And I guess even the newspapers gave out because in March 1935, she froze to death there. Now that is the true story of the second Mrs. Tabor on which Douglas Moore and John Latouche have based their music drama and in which you will see William Johnson as Horace Tabor Martha Lipton, by courtesy of the Metropolitan Opera Association, as Augusta, and Virginia Copeland as Baby Doe. We go now to the street outside the opera house in Leadville for the first act of the Ballad of Baby Doe. <laughs> Massachusetts through the Kansas Territory, pick and shovel in my hand, belly full of gin and glory. Starlight, I'm an honest son of labor, dug my way right through to hell. Satan said, why, here comes Tabor. Hey, take your gophers, take your bones, take away to save your soul. There's mountain galore of silver horse, it's living Colorado. Hey, it's mountain galore, 
it's cheap in Colorado. Took the devil for a partner, but my wife, she was so spiteful, Satan said, I'm going home. Life in hell is more delightful. <laughs> Adelina Patty. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we'll meet again. 